Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. In this video, we are going to take a look at indexing of matrices and arrays. Subscripts The element in row i and column j of a matrix A is denoted by a i comma j. For example, a4 comma 2 is a number in the fourth row and second column that is 6. A2 comma 2 is a number in second row and second column that is 13. A1 comma 4 is the number in first row and fourth column 14. A3 comma 3 is the number in third row and third column that is 10. It is also possible to refer to these elements of matrix with a single subscript like A of K. A single subscript is usual way of referencing row and column vectors. However, it can also apply to a fully two-dimensional matrix, in which case the array is regarded as one long column vector formed from the columns of the original matrix. So for the matrix shown in the screen, A8 is another way of referring to the value 6 stored in A4 of 2. The colon operator. The colon is one of the most important MATLAB operators. It occurs in several different forms. Like we use it for creating a vector using colon that is 1 colon 10 that will create a vector of unit spaced from 1 to 10 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Similarly, we can use colon vector to create non-unit space vector like 100 colon minus 10 colon 50. This will create a vector from 100 to 50 with a gap of 10 say 100, 90, 80, 70, 60 and 50. Similarly, another example is 0 colon pi by 4 colon pi. This will create a vector from 0 to pi with the decimation of pi by 4. So we get 0, 0 0.7854, 1.5708, 2.3562 and 3.1416. So the syntax for this is start colon space colon end where space denotes the space between the two consecutive elements. Using colon, we can also refer to some portion of matrix, like for example, a1 colon k comma j. This refers to 1 to k elements of column j of matrix A. Thus, if I have to sum the previous matrix from 1 to 4th element of column 4, I will write sum a 1 colon 4 comma 4 and I get answer as 34. However, there is a better way to perform this computation. The colon by itself refers to all the elements in a row or column of a matrix and the keyword n refers to the last row or column. Thus, the equivalent statement of the above will be sum a colon comma end which will also get an answer as 34. This is same as saying a1 colon 4 comma 4. Concatenation. Concatenation is the process of joining small matrices to make bigger ones. In fact, by concatenating individual elements, we created the first matrix. The pair of square matrix is a concatenation operator. For example, we'll create a matrix B with already existing matrix A with a a plus 32 a plus 48 and a plus 16 this will create an 8 by 8 matrix obtained by joining the four sub matrices as this topic has already been covered in the previous videos so i am not going to go in depth of that so moving on deleting rows and columns deleting rows and columns are as simple as using a pair of square matrix if you delete a single element from a matrix, the result is not a matrix anymore. So expressions like x1, 2 equal to square bracket results in an error and are invalid. However, using a single subscript deletes a single element or sequence of elements and reshapes the remaining elements into a row vector. So in line 4, though we are deleting uh, uh, elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10, the rest of the elements are getting arranged in the following row vector. Scalar expansion. Matrices and scalars can be combined in several different ways. For example, 
a scalar is added to a matrix by adding it to each element so when we write x plus 1 we are basically adding 1 to each and every element of matrix x with scalar expansion MATLAB assigns a specified scalar to all indices in a range for example in line 3 we are going to replace certain portions of matrix X with 0 so we write 1 colon 2 comma 2 colon 3 and we replace it with 0 so we get that elements in first row second column and first row third column and second row second column and second row third column are replaced with 0 logical subscripting the logical vectors created from logical and relational operations can be used to reference subarrays suppose X is an ordinary matrix and L is a matrix of same size that is the result of some logical operation then X of L specifies the elements of X where elements of L are non-zero this kind of subscripting can be done in one step by specifying the logical operations as the subscripting expression suppose we have a set of data stored in matrix X as 1.2 NaN 1.4 1.1 9.1 NaN 1.2 1.3 1.2 and 1.2 the NaN is a marker for missing observations such as failure to respond to an item or a missing data to remove this missing data with logical indexing we use function is finite of x which is true for all finite numerical values and false for any n and infinite values so when we write x as x of infinite of x we restructure our row vector to get 1.2 1.4 1.1 1 .1 and so on as you can see in the second row vector any n is removed let's take another example so what we are going to do is the on the matrix shown on the left we are going to highlight the prime numbers by making all the non prime numbers as zeros so for this we are going to use command a is not is a prime of a and assign it a value of zero so basically this will assign zero to all the non prime numbers so as you can see all the non prime numbers are turned as zeros the find function the find function determines the indices of array elements that meet a given logical condition in its simplest form find returns a column vector of indices so when we transpose that vector we get a row vector of indices in this case as shown on the screen it picks out the location using one dimensional indexing of primes in the matrix A so what we are seeing here that is 1 2 6 7 14 and 15 are not the elements inside the matrix but they are the location of matrix A where prime number is stored so as you can see 1 that is 7 prime number is there 2 we have 2 that is prime number is there 6 that resonates to 13 where that is a prime number 7 that resonates to 3 that is a prime number 14 that resonates to 11 that is a prime number and 15 that resonates to 5 that's also a prime number this concludes a video on indexing in the next video we are going to take a look at entering commands this will show us how to handle commands on the command line window till then please subscribe and thanks for watching